Hello YouTube, this is Jessica from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. I'm really excited about this tutorial and the next set of tutorials because we're going to be applying Rust to the networking world. And what we're going to be doing is uh, how to uh, uh, capture packets using Rust, how to play with TCP, how to use some of the protocols that we're very familiar with. The way that, I, the, the reason that I'm able to be uh, making this video and you are able to watch it is because we're using these tools, right? Some of them we know about, we hear about them all the time. Some of them we don't, we, you know, maybe we never heard of them. This is what this tutorial and this tutorial series is, is going to do, is, is uh, you know, play, apply Rust to working with these tools. Uh, this book that I have here, uh, this book came out a few years ago, many years ago, about 10 years ago that I, can, I remember. It's a great book. I, I go back to that book all the time. Uh, it's everything, even though it's over 10 years old, everything that he talks about there hasn't changed much. Linux hasn't changed uh, much in the last 10 to 15 years, uh, really changed. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. People are going to say, yeah, Android and all that stuff. Uh, yes, but the, the the things under the hood have not changed much from what he talks about in that book. Uh, I mean, the protocols are the same. The OSI model, sometimes you're going to be uh, uh, hear it refer us the OSI model. Or sometimes you're going to be referred us the TCP IP model. They just group the layers differently. They Talk, they name them differently, but they're basically the same thing, uh, but called differently. Uh, the OSI model has le seven layers. The one that I'm using right now is I communicate to you, and I'm making this video. I'm using an internet browser, which I'm showing you this, and I'm getting data and, and then interacting. So I'm using the application layer, right? and in it, in, but I'm using all of these other stuff as well because they all work together in conjunction be, between the data link layer, the network layer, the transport layer. All of that is working to, to transfer data packets from my computer into the web, into your wherever you're listening to this video. So this is what we're going to be talking about, and uh, like I said, sometimes you're going to hear application layer, and if you're very, you've heard this before, more likely the DNS, uh, internet protocol, IP addresses, like you know, we all have an IP address, every device, digital device that, that gets on the, on the network has an IP device, uh, IP address, and this is what you get when you say, let's say, if you have a tool like T-Chark, you can right now use this command, and it's going to grab, if you run it on, on what they call it, I think this is promiscuous mode, or non-promiscuous mode, or whatever. You're going to see, you're going to see the protocols, the TC, ICMP, and if you're not familiar with what these protocols are, you can go, let's say, yeah, let's go here. Uh, did I, no, oh, here. These are the all the protocols. You're going to see that right now, as I open that terminal, you're going to see TCP, ICMP, if you go down, you're going to see there's all crazy stuff here. There's a lot of devices in my house, so <laughs> good luck trying to figure out this stuff there. Some of them you're going to see, you're going to, well, well, we'll get more into the detail on that when I explain the code. But for now, let's uh, concentrate on what these protocols are. That's TCP. That's the one that I just showed you. It's the transport layer. ICMP is this one right there. 
and you're gonna see if I run another command for example I do yeah let's do that one you're going to see these commands right these uh, you're gonna see the the protocol you're going to see the address this is my computer that's the port that I'm using and I have 50 different uh, things open so this is what that means establish and listening and the protocols and all that good stuff and then I have kids in the house so they are, they have also stuff open so it's, it's it's all kinds of stuff right so that's what's happening under the hood um, but how do they work so that's what we're going to be doing we're going to be showing you when you enter these commands for example, let's do this one. Let's clear this. Let's do ARP A. And this I'm waiting. Boom. So this is what is called the address resolution protocol. And it's, it's just taking all the addresses that are in this particular uh, area of, around my computer. I don't want to get too much into it. Just keep it simple so I can explain it. So you can, you're going to see this is the gateway. More likely, this is my router. That's the gateway. It's a zero one. So more likely, that's the MAC address of one of my routers. Then you're going to see the computer. This is my computer that I'm using right now. And that's the MAC address of it and so on, right? Um, You've seen this before. If you've done any networking, this is what's going on under the hood. This, this is part of the data link layer that we're talking about here. Here, you're going to see uh, tunneling, like, um, actually, did I show you that? Uh, let me see that one. Oh, the one. Nope, that's not the one. this one okay this one has the interfaces this one if you run if you're on the, in the windows world and you run this command right now ip config is going to give you this if you are in the mac or the linux world it's not ip config you need to enter if config if config and it's going to give you the interfaces these are all the interfaces it's gonna give you, tell you the flags, the the, the MTU uh, or the limit of what that particular one is set at, whether it's sixty thousand, fifteen hundred, they all they vary, right? You're going to see what is this other stuff that I'm not using right now. That's why they're they're not up. Uh, some of these other stuff. But the most in interesting one that I it's got the most traffic, of course, because I'm I'm creating this video, and I also have this open. It's going to be this guy. So is this is the Ethernet, and it's, it's up, it's broadcasting, and it's got all the good stuff, but it has the MAC addresses, the IP, the six. It's going to have my particular one for for now this is the address that it has this is all local this is not my external address as you know this is just local for my local network in 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 my area in my house right but it's completely different for you it's going to be different for is it going to be 172 168 192 it varies right so this is what's going on. These are the interfaces. So we're going to be using Rust in order to do this, but be able to, to create an application that you can have total control over. It. Because when you do teach arc, we use teach arc, wire shark, also all of these tools, a lot of it is in a black box, so you don't know what's going on under the hood. I will show you how some of these commands, uh, where they come from. 
so you know when you enter that command you will know exactly what's going on under the hood and that's what i'm going to do in this tutorial so for example if we open the code you're going to see here um, this is a basic ROS program uh, that is a it's basically just a data link let me just close the all these other stuff which is going to confuse you uh, okay let's just talk about this these are the ones that i'm going to be talking about so what is happening here this is if i run this code here you're going to see let me clear um let's just run it and then i'll explain all the different things if i run it i have to run it as sudo because i'm having access to stuff that they don't let you touch unless you are super user so i'm going to enter my password because you're getting into areas that you're not supposed to be in. So this is a very basic uh, program that is not very many lines of code. Maybe I can I get this thing to close there. So it's what? 75 lines of code. And most of them are just not much. The very is like 40 to 50 lines of code really so and y what am i able to produce i'm able to produce the interface that i just show you because you can see if you remember the names are the same interfaces that i just show you here these are the same ones but i'm using it and i can change that i can do whatever i want whether I want to use this uh, different one and all that, you know, it's telling me which ones are up. I show you that one. That one was not up, was false. It's not running. I show you the, the, uh, the internet one. This one is up and running. So all of that is coming just for those 50, 75 lines of code. And this is just one, one piece of code but let's say that you want to use something more graphical user interface friendly right so I have another snippet here and I, instead of that one I'm gonna call it the graphical user interface and now look at that now I have all the layers all the interfaces but I have a drop down and I can choose which interface I want to look at. Like I show you the Ethernet, let's choose this one. And I also have a drop down that tells me do I want address resolution or do I want virtual local area network? Do I want point to point protocol? Or do I want tunneling? You have the choice. So in our case, let's just choose. Uh, actually, for now, let's do the whole thing. And then you can start. And then it's going to take a little bit. And then it starts giving me the same stuff that I did with Wireshark. And I can stop it because it's going to keep going and going and going. And then I can look at it. Then I can look at it some interesting ones some of them are are not as interesting because it's just one device like for example 44 i know that that's apple that's all apple stuff from the, my uh mac talking to some other device uh just keep alive uh, uh, pens or packets i forgot the name right now so it does just a keep alive and but the ones that are more interesting are these guys because this is the data link one this is the arp protocol the address resolution protocol that i just show you and it's is basically what's happening here is that 
this is a request and there is a reply. So my my router is basically saying who has address such and such. So for example, the request is who has address. This is my gate router speaking, saying who has address zero zero zero. Who has 192.108 and then there's comes back a reply saying my computer saying I source MAC address computer number so and so have this IP address that's the reply this is what's happening under the hood and I, and I, I just show you how easy it is to do with a this one is a, a many odd more lines of code because you're doing the graphical user interface. But this is what I'm going to be showing you how to do this in the next tutorial. I'm going to show you A, how to do the first one, just uh, take terminal base, and also how to do this in the, on the graphical user interface. But I'll do that in the next tutorial. Uh, this is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, click the like box and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time with another tutorial. Take care.